This is John Maguire, and he has stumbled across, would you believe, a generator. And I was just walking back from uh, my last loot location, this storage area just up here. And I was walking back to base, just down here. And I remembered that this, this, um, this house here with a garage has two gas, uh, empty gas cans in. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just dip into the garage. I've gone in completely the wrong house. This is a house that I've not actually searched. And looky, looky what is here. A generator. A generator. A big milestone in any playthrough. I must have walked past this garage probably a dozen times. Never looked inside. I was prepared to go to the military blockade south from the base in the intent with the sole purpose of getting a generator and there's one right here so this is gonna be nice I can take this I can connect that up at base I have about a dozen VH VHS tapes to watch so John is gonna become a very learned survivor in a few days time that is for sure let's get this back to base okay so I've made it safe and sound back at base John is experiencing moderate exertion but he did just walk about half a mile carrying this right well here we are this is a major milestone that I was not expecting to achieve today John already knows how to connect a generator how convenient there we are connected now I've solved one problem I've got power I do have another problem now now I need a supply of gas and I have not come across any sort of gas station so far in my search north of Raven Creek I do have how much gas have I got Ooh. I do have some gas so I can actually f get quite a few days power so let, let's let's do it let's do it I don't need the gas for anything else I've got no plans to set myself on fire again anytime soon but if I do then I can uh, get a little bit of gas out of here here we are we turn it on let there be light there we go look how much more inviting how much more awesome our base looks now look at that but I don't want to leave it on overnight so the first thing I'm going to do is turn it off but also what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to have this gas can available and whenever I see a vehicle I will be checking it for gas and maybe I will be lucky and I'll find a few bits more but for now I'm going to get John to bed and uh, I'm going to think about what we're going to do next okay it's the dawn of another day in the zombie apocalypse for John Maguire all alone in Raven Creek now I've dropped off all of the loot now do let me know down in the comments how far into the playthrough you think John will get before he actually decides to tidy any of this stuff this is a problem when you pick up so much loot and you don't store it properly but look look what I've got here pancake mix so hopefully I can gorge myself on pancakes now according to the crafting menu I just need some water an empty bowl and some pancake mix can I do it Ooh. now why can't ah oh no okay I need a fork a spatula or a spoon so <laughs> I'm gonna have to go around and search the nearby houses for a fork a spatula or spoon an essential part of any zombie apocalypse I think this is somewhere I've been before let's check it out on the map okay nope so we got these three houses to search I thought I might as well go into new houses and homes I might find a little bit of food as well I have started to finally put on weight but there's still
still a lot to do now. Am I for once going to find what I'm looking for? Let's put that in the trash. Give me some food. Come on. Blue in the kitchen. What kind of a lifestyle is that? Okay, we've got a radio. I'm going to dismantle the radio. I'm still working towards electrical level one. Almost there, almost there. Ooh, I'm not sure I've got a mechanics volume two. Hopefully I will need that at some point. Okay, so as usual, not a single morsel of food. There's a big kitchen. Again, let's disassemble, disassemble that. Okay, well, I'm going to search through the rest of the nearby houses and see what loot I can find. It looks like it's going to be quiet. There's not many zombies around at all, which is good for John. Yeah, let's hope we can find some really, really good loot. Okay, so I'm just finishing up on this first house. Almost missed this storage cupboard, but look at that. Oh, yes. I've always maintained, I've always said, if you get into enough locations, if you loot enough containers, rooms, houses, warehouses, you will, if you can survive long enough, eventually find the loot that you need. Okay, I'm at the last property in the row. It is a big one. There was a zombie somewhere. It took me a while to find them. There we go. Finally, our first zombie. Let's just go in through that window, actually. I was beginning to think it might be another long episode with no zombies until right near the end. So, am I going to find anything useful? John is working up quite an appetite here. Wow. Not even finding a flipping fork or spatula or anything a fork a spoon or spatula hey there is electrical level one box ticked that's a big step towards being able to um, hotwire vehicles mechanics level two is the next goal Again, that's another big achievement on the route to uh, not just surviving but thriving in this game. That's another bust. It's another bust. For at least forks and spatulas. I can have a fancy plate of wine glass. Oh well, let's move on to the next row of residential. Maybe I can find something useful there. I'm going to certainly continue disassembling electrical. Okay, so on the next location, I kind of feel like I should take any sort of kitchen equipment that I can find at last. Food, and yes, I did hear that gurgling zombie. Finally, John's first food of the day. Okay, so I've eaten that canned fruit cocktail straight away and it didn't even touch the sides. There is a zombie somewhere. A little bit apprehensive. Let's finish searching the kitchen. Oh, and I just... All I want is a fork. Or a spoon. Take that. Finally, two bits of food. I'm sure I can... Make something with that baking soda. I don't know what it is. Taking it. Okay, that's fine. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with upstairs. I'm just going to move on. House number five. At least I finally found some food. I did not think it would be this hard to find something as mundane as a fork. Let's just smash. Let's break and enter. Where is that zombie? 
There they are. They're upstairs. Doomed to just spend the rest of their days just gently bashing their head against against the door. Actually, I don't want to write. Uh, yet another kitchen. Anything for me. <laughs> okay. Yep. That sometimes this game just feels like deliberately taking the piss. That is kind of like, I think that's the fifth lot, maybe even sixth lot of uh, pancake mix that I've found now. Quickly you check the... No, been in the bit. Okay, well, that's that's another bust. I've got another couple of houses just up here. Let's check those out. Okay, now th this is actually a nice house. I like the ambience. I love the deer trophy. I like the layout of the house. Why not under the bowl? Got a nice upstairs. Okay, griddle pans, saucepans. I can maybe use those. Okay, well at least we're actually finding some food and John for the moment is eating well. Chocolate is a real nice find. Well would you look right here. Another generator. Another generator. If only I just carried on searching a nearby neighborhood I would have found some really nice loot but I, I really had lost my patience with it so I'm not going to pick it up for now. I'm going to mark it on the map though, because when I do finally, finally come across some sort of gas station, maybe that's a gigamart. Maybe I should check that out. But when I do finally come across a gas station, I will be looking to retrieve that generator so I can hook that up and I can get a proper, well established supply of gas. That'll be another nice milestone. Okay, well, I have now searched, John has now searched nine houses, nine, nine, and not a single fork, spatula, or spoon in any one of them. Don't, you know, just, just don't question it. But I have thoroughly searched every property, and I do have quite some nice loot. Nothing that I actually wanted or needed, but we got a decent amount of loot. I'm going to get all this back to base and um, I do a little bit more reading, continue getting those XP multipliers ready for all of that TV watching I'm going to do soon. Okay, so I've dropped off the latest load of loot. My storage is just a complete mess, but look, I've got quite a nice routine now. I read a little bit. I've read half of the Fishing Bonnie one. I have some beer, some booze, some liquid food. It slowly takes away the panic. And then I go to sleep. That's enough sort of responsibility, right? It's a long way. I really, really, really want to check out what that is. I really would like that to be a gigamart. I could see what this place is on the way. I'm really just looking for an excuse to use this baby an improvised metal spear so let's get John on the road we're gonna we got a bit of a walk ahead let's see what food we can find okay so I'm a little bit up the road I've got this big apartment block here I haven't gone inside I haven't searched up but it's absolutely stuffed full of forks and spatulas but I, I've I've kind of had my fill of uh, searching through empty houses but there's a kitchen right here right there's a kitchen right here so I'm just gonna check it out no of course not why would there be a fork a spoon or a spatula inside the kitchen it's ridiculous all right well enough of this nonsense let's get on the road I'm done with searching for forks and spoons and spatulas Let's see if we can, John can find a gigamart. Okay, so I'm back around the back of the apartment blocks. I'm just coming into new territory, so it's to be expected. We got some zombies. I got a spear though, so let's do it. 
I, I am supposed to be putting the improvised metal spear through its paces, but I haven't got it equipped and ready. And the zombies are right here, just asking to be killed. And maybe I should continue with the the spear with camping knife because it's almost broken. Okay, so John is just up the road from the apartments, from the strip mall. So we're coming into new territory now. According to the map just up here, that is some sort of commercial building. John is hungry. He really could eat a horse right now. Is this it? What have we got? We got a restaurant? Some sort of restaurant? Let's, let's go inside check. Uh, let's check it out. I'm going to switch to the knife. What have we got here? Hmm. That is unusual. I'm going to keep an eye out for a kitchen. I'm quite sure whether this is supposed to be somebody's house. Some sort of... I don't know. Learning center, meeting place. Got another, another messed up. Ooh. Okay. I'm just gonna. John's gonna absolutely gorge himself on maple syrup. Finally, some food. Okay, so I'm next door and I am seeing some quite interesting. Ooh, look at this. Come on. This better be food. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's me and a zombie. At last, we got a zombie. And that's just showing off, isn't it? Now, I've finally, finally got a decent amount of food. Oh, yes, rice. I've got a saucepan. I've got a saucepan at home. Actually, another thing I do need to be looking out for cooking pot I've actually found a lot of seeds which is unexpected with a little bit more food yes finally a bit of a general store again hearing quite a few zombies somewhere yeah quite a few Finally, um, one single location with a decent amount of food. I'm going to eat that rock candy. I'll take the water. It's a precious resource, right, in the zombie apocalypse. Uh, don't worry. Queasiness, that's just a sensitive digestion. I promise. Sounds like the zombies are all next door. Butter. Hey, what have we got in the back here? Uh, wire. I will take the wire. I can use that hopefully to make um, quite a few uh, bait traps, fishing net trap things, more seeds. Look <gasps> at that. I don't know why it's only three and a half instead of six. A sledgehammer. I've said it once, I'll say it again. If you get into enough locations, you will find the loot that you're looking for. Oh, yes, look at this. Come on. Okay. So I know where I'm going to go now. Probably should take it easy. Now, there is a kitchen next door. I'm finding, probably going to find quite a few zombies. Look at this, finally, after almost two weeks. Decent amount of food. What? All school bags. Some awesome loot. Now I've got a sledgehammer. So many vitamins. Now I've got a sledgehammer. I can head and make a slight change of plan. I'll go back south, southeast. There is some sort of what I hope. Oh, yes. That will help with mechanics. Oh, yes. Okay, things are looking up. Southeast, there is a general store of some sort. 
There's the kitchen I was getting into. Um, that is locked up tight. Now I've got a sledgehammer. I can get in there. Now where the hell are all these zombies? Does make me nervous. And I hear all these zombies. I don't know where they are. Right, let's quickly check out this kitchen. Yes, I am excited at the prospect of finding a fork or a spoon. I'll take the kitchen now. Or a spatula. Because then I've got about a week's worth a week's worth supply of uh, pancakes. Okay, it's nothing now. Well, let's get all this back to base. And uh, then I'm going to take this nearly found sledgehammer what a find by the way a sledgehammer most unexpected but yeah i'm going to get all this back to base and i'm going to head straight east from our base and check out this what i hope is a general store absolutely stuffed full of food there we go john showing off again uh, it's only one zombie but i thought i've been so little killing so few zombies so far i thought oh yeah let's show that one and it was a nice kill it was a nice kill just coming up past the apartments Ooh, now this will have a kitchen i know that i've come across forks and spoons but wasn't looking for them before another disappointment any other diner? We've got the diner. Let's check out the diner. There was nothing in the diner. Okay, so I'm back once again at the safety of my base. Hopefully not a zombie for miles around. And look, I can John can gorge himself on canned corned beef. And there's not much fattier in the game. And look at that. Already on to 67 and is still gaining weight. Now, actually, let's let's check out my burned torso. Is it fully healed? It's been a good week. Yes. There we go. Absolutely awesome. I might have only killed eight zombies in the last three days, but I do feel like I have achieved a lot. I'm going to quickly read this skill mag before I forget right well, I'm going to dump off all of my loot another nice round of loot oh, look at that sledgehammer I'm going to take that sledgehammer I'm going to head over to uh, that um, general store what I believe is the general store hopefully walk out of there with a shed load of loot specifically food Look at that. Look at that. Look. Look at that. Now, I wasn't expecting to come back here until times are really desperate. I didn't really fancy the prospect of uh, setting myself accidentally on fire again. But there's not a problem. But you can repair a sledgehammer. Never needed to. That is... Yeah, it repairs 20%. But let's do it. Let's get in here and let's hope we hit an absolute motherload of food. A nice way to finish today's episode. Ah, oh, you just gotta love it. You love, I love, I mean, it's really not that exciting, is it really? Just a sledgehammer, but they're few and far between sledgehammers. So often, yeah, you just won't use them at all, so absolutely awesome look at this yes bring it on look absolutely awesome finally we have a proper supply of food John can eat well at least for the next few days absolutely brilliant look at this there's even candy absolutely brilliant what a way to finish. Wow. I thought today was gonna today's episode was just gonna be a trip down south to the military blockade in the hope that I would find um, a generator. Was well, the with the expectation 
I'd find a generator. I had a tip off from a viewer, and that's that was going to be the plan. But it, boy, did it go differently! Ah, oh, look at that chocolate chips. I might be able to use those in some sort of recipe. Look at this. Look at all that food. That is the most food John has seen in over a year in the zombie apocalypse. Incredible. Let's check out upstairs. So yeah, we found a generator just up the road. Whilst looking for something as mundane as a fork, a spoon or spatula. I'm not quite sure what volume three books I need or indeed if I'll ever read them or need them. Good. But yeah, whilst looking for something as mundane as a fork, a spoon or a spatula, came across a sledgehammer. What are the odds on that? That's going to have to be all for today. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. I am enjoying it a lot. I've got some big targets up ahead. I want to see what all this is about. Slowly getting in to the big part of town. Look at this. I mean, some of this has got to be... Where's the gas station? Why isn't there a gas station down this part of town? Could that be a gas station? Is that worth going over to look? Who knows? Who knows? But that's going to have to be all for today. Comment, like, sub if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to keep up to date with the series. But that is going to have to be it for today. John has now survived around two weeks and it is starting to feel like he is thriving and not just surviving. Peace.